is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system, announcing the commencement of the annual purge, commencing at the siren, any and all crime. Okay, I don't know about you, but if I heard the purge alarm in real life, I'd be a terrified mess. Well, in the world of the horror franchise The Purge, all crime, including murder, is legal for 12 hours. Kill each other for all I care. Go Purge! But it's just a movie, right? I mean, it's not like we're going to do it, right? Right? Right, guys? Guys? Could something like The Purge happen in real life? What would you even do? Get somewhere safe? Or start sharpening your machete? Well, you better buy some purge insurance, because today on In Real Life, we're going to show you. So for those who don't panic every time they hear the purge alarm, here's the rundown. In the highly criminalized society of the Purge series, there's a very special night once a year. For 12 hours, all crime is legal. No consequences, no strings attached, and no awkward explanation about why you chopped up your neighbor. Or for illegally downloading music. <laughs> I don't know how you purge. I don't know your life. This is how you're purging. I can do whatever I want today and no one can judge me for it. But here's the kicker. In true dystopian fashion, the rich elite are pulling the strings. Their belief is that because the purge will weed out undesirables, the economy will boom, effectively lining their pockets with blood money. Big smiles, we're gonna make a lot of money. So, in theory, the purge is supposed to lower crime rates and boost the economy. I mean, on paper, that kind of sounds like a good cause. But do you think we could do it? Could we give in to the animalistic urges within us? Could we embrace the purge? Uh, no, no, sorry. The purge is officially cancelled. Why? Well, it's just too expensive. Yeah, you heard me right. We didn't turn down the purge because it's evil, destructive, and terrifying. We turned it down because of the cost. Uh, did you keep the receipt for that uh, LED mask? Yeah. But I hear you. How expensive can the purge be? Well, even if you survive the purge, your bank account won't. Have you seen what it's like out there, Murray? Every middle class and wealthy home, as well as government buildings and businesses, might as well put a purge me sign on the door. Business owners with a rainy day murder fund could splurge on anti-purge security measures. Metal doors, panic rooms, security cameras, the works. In the movies, the purge security industry is booming. And the economy grows as a result. But here's the thing. You don't grow if you tear it all down once a year, right? If you're spending money on purge-proofing your small shop, well, you're not spending money to improve your business. It would increase the cost so much that most would close their doors during the first year of the purge alone. I declare bankruptcy! And that's not even getting into purge insurance. Most small businesses and citizens would struggle to get insurance packages that include purge-related activities. You've got to pay extra for that. I can pay for this. Premiums would be raised to compensate for 12 hours of pure chaos. That means only the rich would be able to afford top-tier policies. And let's hope their purge plan will secure them, because cleanup is going to be a nightmare. We are going to purge today, purge today, purge today. The vandalism, robberies, smashed stores, not to mention dead bodies in the street, 
would lead to astronomical costs. Riots alone have cost cities $1 billion in damages, and that's with emergency services like paramedics and fire departments working. With a nationwide purge without any emergency services, the costs could reach $1 trillion. Talk about an expensive night out. To put that in perspective, each yearly purge would cost 5% of the annual GDP. So, I guess we should be thankful that the purge would never happen. Denied? Sure, it's not because the proposal literally comes from a horror movie, but we'll take the steep price tag if it means no purging this year. Remember kids, the only thing scarier than masked lunatics is money. So what other movies are you curious about diving deeper into and seeing if they could exist in real life? As for me, I'm more than happy knowing The Purge is cancelled. I don't need any more horror movies coming to life. You know, like The Conjuring movies? Imagine if Annabelle was real. Annabelle, this is real. This is a real deal. Why do I do this to myself? What's the real story behind The Conjuring series? Well, we'll have your answer on another episode of In Real Life.